What's up everyone? Today is Monday, February 24th at 7.54 a.m. Today's gonna be free video watch this day. So if you don't already know, I do a free video watch list every single Monday for everyone on YouTube. And then every day or every other day, I do one for the MIC members. Uh, before I start, I wanna talk about a free webinar that we're running. Uh, this is a free two-hour mentorship course that me and Bao put together for the brand new trader. It's available at myinvestingclub.co. Uh, it's limited seating every week, so if you want to kind of have like a free mentorship course, reserve your spot, and uh, we'll see you there. So, if you don't already know, I was just in New Orleans for Mardi Gras. I am so tired. You could probably tell I'm shot to hell. Um, but today is kind of like my first day back from vacation. So, whenever I'm back from vacation or whenever it's the first day that I'm coming back, I like to take it slow. I like to size down and I like to just wait for the best setups. I am a little bit over eager to trade and I haven't traded in a couple of days. So days like today are pretty dangerous. So I want to just really take it slow. I have mentally accepted that I might not even take a trade today just to kind of clear my mentality. But uh, yeah, let's go through everything. So what I do first every single morning is I go through the stocks that were moving the previous day, or in this case last week, and Tom Diesel made a really nice video watch list for us, so I was kind of looking at that as I was making my watch list for today. So let's kind of go through everything. So DPW was tanked all day on Friday. Can't believe I missed this, but uh, I see some resistance levels here. So in the morning, uh, this actually might even be okay too. So in the morning, I'll have some fantasy orders or some open orders around these levels to scale in on the way up on the bounce. And, you know, kind of as it hits these levels and rejects, I'll add to my winner. Uh, low hanging fruits, ideally, uh, they push hard because there's so much resistance from the day before that we get a really nice rejection. So again, I draw my lines every morning and I just put my orders and I wait for them to fill. PBI, um, not really in love with this setup, but what I see is a 340s level as a resistance level, and I see 350, called 360. So in the morning, actually this level works too. Let's see if it matches up, yep, it does. So notice how this resistance acted as this resistance. So now I have three lines, let me adjust my plan real quick. Okay, so basically just adjusting my plan, looking for this 330s level, then 340s, and the 350s level to kind of scale in. CETX is the new hot chick of the day. Uh, this is actually some of my, uh, one of my favorite stocks to trade. If you look at the daily chart, every time it gets volume, it pulls back. 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 So if it did that one, two, three, four times before, chances are it's probably gonna do it a fifth time. What I see here, is I see some resistance on the daily chart at like 230s, but so far it's rejected 220s, so it's kind of close. Um, it's Monday. I feel like uh, there's really nothing else kind of moving too crazy, so this will have a lot of attention. In the morning, what my game plan would be to look for a morning push to 210 and 220, scaling 10% at 2, 10% at 10, 10% at 20, and then as it kind of fails, uh, I'll look to add to my winner. If this kind of just tanks pre-market, I'll adjust my plan at the open for the guys in the room, and we'll kind of take it from there. Um, last but not least, SPY. Entire market is down like 600 points or something like that on coronavirus. If you look, it's kind of dipping down to where it was supporting previously. The market has been on a big uptrend for a very long time, so I don't really, on days like today, it's very easy to just buy a lot of these stocks that are tanking. It's very easy to just say, I'm gonna buy Apple, I'm gonna buy Microsoft, I'm gonna buy fucking Amazon, or I'm gonna short the um, the volatility ETFs. And honestly, my biggest advice on these days is, uh, number one, don't trade it if you are not used to it, as it's a very fast way to lose money. Uh, the stock market is weird, right? 
Anytime stock is on sale doesn't mean that it's a buy. So just because Apple is down a bunch doesn't mean that it's a buy. Look at how crazy it went. You know what I'm saying? So just take it slow today. Be careful today. Um, and if you are really adamant about trading these large cap stocks, I would personally wait until the trend is formed after 1030 and then joining the trend after that. I'm sure the large cap room is going to be very active today. Um, so yeah, guys, going to take it easy today. Mentally accept that there's no trades. Uh, looking at the low-hanging fruit, looking at the simplest trades just to kind of get my confidence back. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'll talk about New Orleans a little bit later, maybe a video, but today's secret word. So if you don't know, I do a secret word at the end of the videos to make sure that everyone's watching. Uh, so today's secret word is going to be gumbo. So I'll see you guys in the room. Uh, I'm going to force myself to take it slow today. Again, if, it's, if I just take it slow for one day in the market, it's not going to destroy me. It's actually going to help me. So I've accepted that, taking it slow, watching the bloodbath on Wall Street while all these big-time investors screw, are screwed or losing money. While we're all cash, we're just waiting for opportunity. So I'll see you in the morning. Got to make fucking two or three espressos because I'm fucking shot to hell. All right. Thanks, guys.